This is the worst ever tragedy Guyana finds itself in. Here it is. Guyana collecting royalties three years now and doesn't know how much barrels pump or what price it sold for. You like that? <laughs> Who collects their monthly paycheck and don't know what they're supposed to get? If they were paid for the overtime or if the boss take out the tax and NIS? Huh? Who collects their salary like that? You know anyone? Well, that is how our Vice President Jack Dale has been collecting that 2% royalty every three months from Exxon since oil pumping in this country. And how we know this? Yes, Kaicho News found that out from an ad Exxon placed in the newspapers three days ago. Looking for a company to check the amount of barrels pumped and what price they were sold for since 2019 to now. And to then prepare a report with the figures to hand Guyana. Look, the ad is behind me. Now tell me, how can a country collect royalties and doesn't know what price the oil sell for or the amount they sold? Which donkey, which fool, which idiot you know in this world would run a business that way? Exxon selling oil for the last three years, every three months, giving royalties, and Guyana doesn't know how much barrels of oil them sell or the price they sell it for? Is this real? Hmm? You get paid on the right price or you get paid with the price where Exxon give you. And all this world-class financial exports we have parading themselves as business leaders accepting that as our fair share of royalties. Again, you guys can believe this thing? Three years after you collect your salary, the boss is preparing your pay slip to show you how much hours you work and what hourly rate he paid you at. Is this real? My God, if this is not a comic book, or a zombie country with zombie politicians, then I don't know what is. I don't know where. I don't know whether to grin or cry for you people. How unbelievable this is. Man, let me repeat this thing. Three years pumping oil and nothing about how many barrels eggs on sell. And how much they really sell it for? But we get a paycheck calling that royalty? Wait, guys. Don't you think billboards with this madness should go up all corners of Guyana? You tell me. If a man so slack, irresponsible, and dumb that he doesn't know how many hours he work and how much they're paying him per hour, then what do you think will happen to him? Especially dealing with a crook, a dishonest criminal, a thief, a swindler like Exxon Mobil. Hmm? As for the profit share, hmm, that's even worse. Every oil export in this world have been consistently warning us to get hold of the formula, the method used by Exxon, how they're calculating our profits. To this day, our Vice President Jack Dale has not made that public for us to see. So just like the royalty, Exxon just throwing whatever they want at us. And they're calling that profits too. You know, lots of people tell me, Glenn, please don't belittle our politicians by calling them morons. I say to those people here, when horrible crimes of this nature 
happening to a country in which generations' basic survival are at stake, then what words do you want me to use to describe the politicians of Guyana? I see no more. Follow me for more TikToks.